Hey guys, it's Tracy from Nova Scotia Living and today we're going to make some Finnish coffee bread also known as pula. Um, a big part of my heritage is um, Finnish and my grandmother used to make this bread and she was from Finland and uh, I've only made it a couple times in my life and the last time I made it, it was with my mom who has recently passed away. So um, yeah, it, it's I remember this as a childhood treat and it was so delicious. It's kind of like a sweet bread. Um, anyways, let's let's get this started because it takes a little while to make. It takes about three to four hours in total uh, to make. So I'm going to put a flash screen um, and show you the specific directions and ingredients and things like that. But you can watch me. I'll, I'll briefly tell you what I'm doing. But um, for the exact measurements, you'll have to just pause that screen and you'll be able to see. Um, so just hold on a second, guys. I got a couple of little girls in my kitchen. Okay, so first off, um, I've always done it by hand, but my joints are really flared up today. So I'm going to get my assistant Cornelius, my stand mixer, to help me today. It's not going to all be done in it, but the first part is, baby, don't touch this tripod. Um, so this is just some warm water and some yeast. And I'm just going to put a bit of sugar to activate that. So we'll mix that around a little bit. Okay. And now we're going to stir in some milk. I scalded this milk. And actually, guys, this is powdered milk. I always use powdered milk when I'm baking. I scalded it and then I brought it back down to like uh, lukewarm. So yeah, we're going to add, actually, before I add that, because it still might be a little too warm for that yeast. Um, I'm going to stir in the sugar, so a cup of sugar, and the big key flavor in this is cardamom. Um, it's, I've never cooked with it before, but it's so good. It's kind of, it almost reminds me of like cinnamon, but it's, it's not cinnamon, but that's the family I think it's in. I don't know if it is, but uh, this is the milk. I just added the cardamom and the salt. Just a little bit of salt. And right here is four beaten eggs. Yeah, my grandmother made this almost every week. And she'd always, she lived across the street from us almost. And she'd bring it over to us. And I didn't appreciate, I, I loved it. But I, I, being an adult now, I didn't appreciate how much work it went into making this. But I was always told stories that, by my mom, that whenever she visited her grandparents, and she was from Thunder Bay in Ontario, um, her grandmother would always have coffee bread. It was just such a common thing. Everybody had coffee bread in the Finnish community. Um, so, yeah. I don't make this all the time, but my kids love it. This will not last. This will make pretty big braids of dough. And, um, just a couple of cups of flour. I, I'll mix this until it's kind of smooth. Uh, yeah, so I guess they always had it in their communities. It was just a common common thing. They'd have that and then um, they'd drink coffee out of teacups sometimes and pour the coffee in the saucer and swish it around and sip it. Oh, it just sounds like magical story. So I'm going to start, uh, I'm going to mix this up until it gets a little smooth. And then I'm going to add some more flour. Um, and then I'll bring you back when all the flour is added. I, in total, we add about 8 to 10 cups of flour to this dough. So I'll bring you back when that's up. all the time and I've seen my grandmother make this many times but I wish I had paid more attention but I was just a child then um, let me just see here which 
mix it until it's kind of a stiff dough and then we pull it in. Yeah, okay. So I'm gonna take this off the stand mixer and then we're gonna bring it over to the table. All right, guys, I just had to get my uh, plug for my camera. But, so this dough is super sticky right now. Like, it's stiff, but it's sticky. I'm gonna flip the screen around so I can see what I'm doing. What we're gonna do is we're gonna put it out on the table and, oh, just a minute. All right, guys, my camera died when the, the, the last step. I took a couple pictures, I'll add them here. But basically, it's I took it out of the bowl, put it on a floured surface, um, put it kind of in a little bit of a ball, and put the bowl on top of it for 15 minutes. 15 minutes is up. Now what we got to do is knead this for 8 to 10 minutes. So I'm going to speed it up, but um, yeah, I'm going to knead it, and uh, then we'll move on. nine minutes it's uh it's a little tacky but it's still like smooth and soft but it's yeah tacky but not super sticky so now what we're going to do is uh put it in a grease bowl i'm just going to spray it i'm going to have to get a new one of these we'll plop it in i just spray the top of it I'm going to put it in the oven uh, with a clean tea towel over top and just the oven light on. 
and I'm gonna set the timer for an hour and a half and I'll check it and if it's not to my liking I'll put it on for another 30 minutes so I'll show you when uh, when it's all at least double its size so it takes a little while but um, it's so worth it all right guys it's been about an hour and 45 minutes and I got two babies to sleep Mr. Mays is still shuffling around here watch out bum anyways now this step is real quick we're going to deflate the dough you see it's risen looks beautiful it smells so good it really does it totally reminds me of my granny anyways we're just going to deflate it isn't that a beautiful sight maze and as i do it it even smells more like it's pushing the air out so we just deflate it some. You don't need to beat it up, but just give it a nice little shove. And now what we're going to do is cover it again and let it rise for another half hour to an hour. And I'll bring you back after that. That will be higher next time. Look what happens when I go up to try to edit some of this video while the dough's rising. And I come down after Misha told me Mace got into the flour. What were you doing, Mace? Who? What you doing that for? And look. Some on the floor. And some on them. What were you doing? Who made this big mess? You. Maze, who made this big mess? Yeah. Maze, who made this big mess? Maze, now. Yeah, not acceptable. Oh, anyways, I gotta get this cleaned up. Mm. And you have to wear new pants and get new pajamas on him because he has dirty pajamas. He does. He's all for flower power. <laughs> <laughs> all right. All right. By the time I got Maze's mess cleaned up, it's time for us to work with the dough again. So I'm just taking it out of the oven. And, uh, oh yeah, let me flip this around. I always forget to flip it around. Okay, so it's risen again, and no, folks, we're still not done with rising and making this dough rise. I can't see. My display screen on my phone, or my camera, doesn't work the greatest. So now, we deflate it again. It'll rise, 30 minutes. Yeah, and then we uh, divide it into three. See, it it rises. I wonder how, how many times you can get dough to rise. Still smells fantastic. And I just had the oven light on in there, guys. I think I said that, but I just put this down. Not to really incorporate much, but just so it doesn't stick to the table. The bowl comes out clean. For the most part oh you can even like if you were to taste it now it's it's decadent it really is but I'm gonna try to control myself so I need to divide this chunk into three because it makes three three big braids so what I can never do it perfect and I could break out my scale but I'm too lazy just to make sure that they're all the same, but what would life be if everybody was the same, if everything was the same, right? So, oh, that one might not be. So, we'll work with them individually. Oh, let me get my rolling pin here. So yeah, I think I mentioned my granny was from Finland. She was actually born here in Canada, but her parents were from Finland and her older sister was born in Finland. So she could speak Finnish, but she was born here in Canada. But, you know, she's still Finnish. I'm still Finnish, at least part of me. 
and yeah, I have quite a few pictures of my ancestors. I don't know who they are though. And I'd love to make friends with people in Finland to find out more, more about the place. Um, I don't know how to speak hardly anything. I can say, oh, what is it? Oh, it'll come to me, guys. It'll come to me. Uh, hasta napa. That's what mom used to say to us. Uh, and it's funny because it says, how's your belly button? At least that's what I was told. Any Finnish people out there? Hasta napa? Is that what it means? And go bring it to Misha, please. Um, another thing, and I even say it to my kids because mom used to always say it to me. Go get your gangas and that's your shoes. Again, I don't know. Correct me if I'm wrong if any of you guys speak Finnish. So as you can see, I'm cutting this in threes. And what I'm going to do is braid it. Now, I just kind of make it into a rope. And I watch people on YouTube do it, but this is how I do it. I leave a little bit still connected. You don't have to, I guess. You can make three separate ropes and pinch them at the end after. But I think of it as my... <laughs> My girl's hair, I braid their hair all the time. So this is like the little knot at the top. And I'll just braid it. Yeah, so are any of my viewers out there um, have Scandinavian background? Whew. You'll have to wait till I'm done, baby. Oh, just a second, guys, because he's just going to get louder and louder. guys now what we have to do I'm gonna put them back in the oven have them covered and we got to let it rise for about 20 to 30 minutes until it puffs up they they look big but they get bigger they really do and they even get bigger when you start baking them but I, I promise this will be the last time we rise them or raise them rise them whatever you want to say anyways I'll bring you back in 20 to 30 minutes all right guys it's time to take them out of the oven and miss Misha volunteered to uh, Glaze the bread for me. I'm just going to get you guys situated here on my tripod without you falling. I got coffee brewing over there. Yeah. And, uh, ooh, these look so good. So, some people do an egg wash. Some people glaze it with coffee. I'm opting for the coffee. I've done it both ways, but I find if I do the egg wash, it gets too brown too fast. For my oven, do what works for yours. So, Misha has done this before, and it's straight up real coffee. I'll do a little bit, Misha, and then that's hot, right? And you just do it nice and easy. Like right that. Just easy. So, can you do that for me? Yeah. Don't push hard, just easy.
No. Okay, so you've seen us uh, glaze it with coffee, and we sprinkled a little bit of sugar on top. Some people put shaved almonds on it. Um, some people, I don't have any of that coarse sugar, you know, the big chunky sugar, so I'm just using regular sugar. So, um, yeah, I'm just waiting for the eat oven to heat up, and then we'll start baking these. All right, it's up to, up to 400, so I'm going to put two of the pans in. And I'm going to set the timer for 15 minutes and check them then. And I'll probably flip the pans around, uh, front to back kind of thing. And I'll show you what it looks like at the 15 minute mark. All right, guys, 15 minutes is up. I know it's not done yet, but I like to keep an eye on it because it's kind of sensitive. You don't want it to get too brown or too... Look at that. That looks beautiful. I might just put it in for another five minutes. What time is uh, And I just turned the pans around. Ooh. So I'll put it in for five more minutes and then that'll be done. Alright guys, so let's take these out of the oven. And the kids just got home from school. They're itching to have some of this, but they're going to have to wait. Doesn't it look pretty? Whew. I'm gonna put that third one in. So that'll get rolling. But yeah, let me take you off the tripod here. You can get a better look. I'll insert a couple of pictures here too to see, but. You can see the sugar still resting there on top. It'll be nice and soft in the middle. You don't want to cook it too long. That was only about 22 minutes, actually. It wasn't even 25 minutes. Uh, yeah, so, no, I'm sorry. That was only 20 minutes because I took it out at 15 minutes and then put it in for another five. So that was only 20 minutes, um, and that's plenty of time for my oven. And it's the middle will be nice and soft. And oh so good. So when it's all said and done and cooled off, we'll do a little taste test. All right, guys, I ended up taking it out of the oven. I was on the phone, and it was a phone call I couldn't not answer. So uh, it's all out, and they look beautiful. Um, that's the big, biggest one, or the big, big bottom one, but they all will taste the same, so they're still pretty hot. I took them off the pans probably about five minutes after I took them out of the oven, and they're still on the parchment, but just so it's not going to bake anymore underneath or anything like that. But I'll show you what it looks like when we cut one open here in a little bit. All right, we all just finished supper. We had some pork chops and roasted vegetables and some beans, so the kids want to have a piece of coffee bread for dessert. What one should I cut? That's the big one. I like that one for me. Okay. So, guys, I'm going to cut it, and then I'll take a picture of it with my phone so you can get a better look at it, because I know this camera isn't going to pick it up as in great detail. Hi, little people. Watch your cut, Mitchell. Sure. Let me just get the, uh, yeah, get out of the way. All right, guys. I smell that. Does it smell good? Yeah. Yeah. All right, take a big bite. Mm. Thumbs up from Zaya. What do you think? <laughs> you like it? No. Not thumbs up. There yes. Was, there was um, coffee bread ever. That's coffee bread ever. Double thumb up. Oh, good. <laughs> All right. Well, thanks so much for joining us today, guys, and um, yeah, uh, sharing some of my heritage and taking a peek at uh, how we do it.
Anyways, Bye. please like, share, and subscribe, and uh, peace, love, and happiness. Bye. And just want to say hi to all my late and current Bye. Finnish ancestors and relatives Bye. that I might not know, but um, yeah, anyways, have a great evening, guys.